everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Boosted Problems. In this first series, we're going to be putting an Eaton M90 supercharger from a Ford Thunderbird uh, Super Coupe. It was a 3.8 liter V6 from the early 90s. We're going to be putting that unit onto an STI engine, uh, EJ257. It started out the car as an automatic with a turbo had put a 16G BNR on it and it ran pretty good, but I developed an up pipe leak and decided to remove the whole turbo system, remove the automatic, and that we were gonna go supercharged, five speed manual, all wheel drive, something really good for on road, daily driving, uh, a lot of instant torque response and could do well with off road or decide to get the right tire and wheel set up for that as well. Um, when the video starts out, you guys are going to be coming along for the ride from the motor being out of the car on a stand and beginning to mock up the first already pulled the manifold off and made sure that I could get the charger on the block itself bare and get the hood to close. Uh, at that point, I knew it was going to be somewhat doable, even if I had to trim the hood a bit. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be ridiculous now, you know, like six inches higher with the hood dropped off. Um, so we've already confirmed that at this point. Uh, this first video is going to focus mainly on the fabrication of uh, first stage of the super car supercharger brackets to actually to the engine block. So enjoy, guys. All right, guys. Let me uh, catch up. Right here we've got a uh, EJ257 and an Eaton m90 supercharger and that is all going to get stuffed into uh this outback turbo right here with the spec b suspension uh at the moment i am fabbing up some mounts for the supercharger you can see our first one here these are just made out of some angle iron and some nuts that I used for collars on there. Uh, that's the first one there. The second one is gonna get welded in down there and then tacked and hammered here, and wrap around. And then we're gonna do a third one off of uh, the hole here. That'll come up, we'll have a little TP. Uh, I've also got a mount back here and a mount on this side, uh, that we're, they're gonna be a little bit more tricky, but I'm gonna make a similar stand for the other two points, and then we're gonna tie this all together, and then I'm gonna have to bring that over to the back ear of this alternator. Uh, and there's also a matter of possibly installing an ear for the other side. Uh, as of right now, the alternator is just mounted in with one bolt, but, uh, it's, I mean, it's pretty solid. I'm moving the whole motor, um, but obviously it would pivot. So that's going to need to be dressed back here on this ear. We'll bring an L bracket in from over here and catch the bolt from here. Bring that over uh, and possibly brace that down with this. That way it's not just this. It'll be that too. We'll brace that up there. That's going to leave me plenty of room for the hoses and everything. Um, the reason I'm using the Ford M90 is because as the top hat that comes out over this with an output that's about, uh, I think it's a little bigger than two and a half inch. Um, I may chop that and end up putting a three inch output on it because that's what the air to water is going to be. Um, it's a built motor. It's got manly pistons, rods, hardened crank. Um, for right now, I'm just going to get this supercharger mounted up. And we've got two pieces of... I've got two of these bends. It's a nice, thick aluminum. I'm going to chop these bead rolls off. And the plan is going to be to have this come off like that. Then we're gonna do another one right. And this is gonna tie in 
to the back of the other one. Uh, I'll show you what I mean right here. I'm going to actually tie it in sort of like that. And then when we do that, where they tie in right here, I'm going to bump the pipe up and oval it so that I can have both of them on there and get a nice smooth transition. Uh, so that's going to be the intake manifold. We're going to have two pipes that come back here to about there. And then that's going to go together to a three inch that's going to come underneath right here, back here where the intercooler used to go. Um, so as long as I need enough room for the slave cylinder on the clutch, uh, which is going to be tricky because this is also getting converted to uh, 4.45 MT, so we're going to go from a five-speed or automatic box that I had in here to this five-speed manual. Uh, I've got some Killer Bee clone headers here, brand new 4.f. Everything that goes back in the car is getting cleaned, painted, polished, something done to it along the way. Uh, see, I've already painted a lot of the, well, no, you can't. That's all for now. All right, so update on the uh, motor here. I've got some brackets are uh, quite a bit more done now. I'll show you guys in a second here. I've got some shims on here. I'm gonna get one spacer and I'm gonna weld it on there. I'm gonna use that to really center everything uh, once I have the right size bolts. Uh, these are just bolts I had laying around that were long enough I mean, they're probably about five inches and skinny, so it was slim pickings. I still have to go and get some more for the back one here. Uh, I started making a mount here, though, that's coming off of the other one as well as these two holes. Let's see. I just got them tacked together. I ran out of argon, so the welds started getting a little crappy. And I just, just got two new bottles. The plan here is I still have to shim a few things up this area right down here. If you can see it, but between the two of those, except for the, the back edge right there is the only spot that's hitting. So I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to shave off just this edge of the supercharger. Uh, you can see how that one comes off and it's very flat. This one has a bit of a lip to it and that is actually how the other one used to be. Uh, I probably chopped it, but I was able to get this gap down back here at the very back towards the block. I used to be about that far away from the bolt. And when this supercharger was sitting on the block, I only had about this much under the hood. So I wanted to get it as close as I can. I'm actually gonna trim this bolt up just a little bit. Not enough that it'll slip with a bolt, uh, just enough that I can come down as much more as I have after I trim the piece over here. Um, Cause I'm also trying to get the charger to just just the right lean with the engine. Um, the motor's a little stand. It's just how the hole is drilled in the back. No other way for me to get it any straighter than this. Uh, not with it, you know, staying and not flipping over. Um, but yeah, so next step's going to be to trim this up a little bit. Once I'm really happy with the fit on that, um, I'm also going to get a longer bolt. I want to put one more shim in here. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to try to just shave a little bit off the underneath because this bracket's a lot thicker than it needs to be right here. It's it's probably about that thick. And that's, that's really, really thick for steel. Uh, so I'm going to take just like maybe a millimeter off of that so that I've got a little bit more. Because you can see I'm working with nothing here until I go get some longer bolts. Uh, and they're also going to help locate it a little bit better so I can see if I'm gonna have to file out any of these holes uh, and maybe uh, fill some of the brackets 
in with a weld to, to kind of shift things forward or back. Um, after that, the next step is going to be I've got another one of these bolts. This is what I've been making those brackets out of. I've been putting a, a bolt through it. This one's not long enough, but I can maybe use it for mock-up tonight. I've been putting it through it like that so that I have a mounting surface. And then I take the angle iron. I'm going to take a piece from here down to here. There's probably going to be one that comes down this way and then another one that goes that way so that it has, it's kind of triangulated. And depending on space, I might, I might throw one more in somewhere else. Um, I'm definitely going to have to tie into this alternator ear somewhere. I've gotten a little um, bit further since last night. Um, we were working on this mount last night, right here, um, where we left off. I had.